hey guys welcome back to the channel and in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to look expensive but on a budget um i believe in dressing the part to look the part okay i may not be up there with my money yet i may not be up there with my career yet, but what's stopping me from looking classy looking put together the way you dress is how you are dressed and you can't tell me otherwise like i notice when i look nice people treat me with so much respect as opposed to when i look like a mixture between <laughs> homeless and i don't care there's a stark difference okay there's a stark difference <laughs> So the first point i'm going to speak about is like your skin your makeup and all of that when it comes to skincare you need to take care of your skin like this is so important it's not just about putting on makeup and looking good just for the moment you need to take care of your skin underneath like you guys let me tell you laurie harvey i cannot tell when she's got makeup on and when she doesn't have makeup on okay i cannot tell the difference that's how beautiful flawless her skin is there was a video she put up one time and i thought she had makeup on and she was like no makeup on i'm like houses how make it make sense like that's how beautiful her skin is without makeup okay so it's very important for you to take care of your skin underneath try and have like a skincare routine i only recently started a skincare routine i think this year yeah um, and my skin is popping okay my skin underneath all of this is actually popping this is the best my skin has ever been take care of the skin on your face take care of the skin on your body moisturize um you know exfoliate and all of that good stuff so on the days when you want to go make up less or you want to go without makeup your skin is still looking very popping like you're still looking very put together you're still looking beautiful so make sure your skin is looking it's possible best it's looking flawless so that on days when you don't want to wear makeup and you just dress up you still look good this leads me on to my next point which is makeup like i said before i cannot tell when laurie harvey has makeup on and when she doesn't have makeup on that's just how beautiful her skin is one and two how minimal her makeup is I mean, if you're not a makeup artist i don't think you really have any business like with makeup that is so loud so unnecessarily attractive i mean do you boo boo that's not the look we're going for if you're going for classy you're going for more minimal makeup nude lips i personally i love nude lips and i love um color lips as well so i do both i do both but um the thing is like i keep my eyes really really minimal when i'm doing colors and then when i'm doing nude hair and then i can then play with my eyes does that make sense so you need to always think of how do i complement each other if there's color hair no color hair always think like that and then you find that your makeup would end up being minimal most of the time yes i know makeup makes us look different you want to do transformation from zero to a hundred you want to go from <laughs> yourself to literally beyonce i know that i know but try and make your try and do your makeup in a way that it still looks like you even when you don't have all that makeup on you don't need to be loud in anything when you're trying to be classy okay so leading on to the next point you guys are talking about jewelry yes this is very important it's very important for you to know something called undertone you need to know your undertone personally i have warm yellow undertone which means gold jewelry would look better on someone like me you for instance if you have like blue undertone if you're cool um silver jewelry would obviously look better on you so it's very important for you to figure out what your undertones is so that you can then accessorize according to that like i used to wear silver before and it just never really looked that good on me and i used to think it was the jewelry i bought i didn't realize um silver doesn't go with my skin tone if you have warm undertones and you go for the opposite jewelry it would look like it's standing out on your skin like it wouldn't really look good on you it wouldn't really blend in with you and also when it comes to buying jewelry i'm a strong believer in buying minimal jewelry now like before i used to have all sorts like green necklace please what the hell am i doing with green necklace please but that is in the past all things are past so now i just buy um you know very minimal accessories that can go with literally everything like this jewelry now can go with everything this can go with everything like very minimal like you don't need too much going on you can do hoop earrings as well i think hoop earrings when styled properly can still look classy so if you're wearing like hoops for instance you don't necessarily need to wear um jewelry on your neck or even if you are like something very thin like this is good enough also the same goes for if you're wearing like a chunky necklace then your earrings need to be very 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 minimal and in my opinion that's just what looks better as opposed to just having so much going on at the same time like earring is big this one is flashy here you have 10 here you have 100 ah, like sister calm it down <laughs> calm it down you're not you're not in competition with anybody please you're not in competition with your accessories okay 
calm it down just buy minimal pieces and when you're buying jewelry as well you need to go for non-tarnish see when you buy things that tarnish easily you're going to end up sending more okay you're just going to end up sending more because you buy one within like a month two months it's tarnished it's washed and you have to go out and buy another one why don't you put that money together and then go for something that has a bit of um higher quality i'm not saying you have to buy gold like i said we're doing this on a budget right here okay so and um, there's something called gl it's a very 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 good brand of accessories if you buy that they usually last for quite a long time i think at least three to four years if not more you know like in this country there's just so much sun like sun actually tarnishes jewelry tarnishes accessories if you didn't know this so it's very good for you to go for like the higher quality stuff so that even when you're so like even when you're out and about it doesn't tarnish as easily and you find that you actually end up saving money because you're not buying as much as much jewelry all the time as if you're buying as opposed to if you're buying like the cheaper ones does that make sense so yeah that's something you should probably start doing if you're not doing that already so my next point is going to be your nails personally i don't like long nails i just don't function effectively with them so i usually would go for short nails but if you long if you love long nails by all means you should do that boo do your boo but um i would say that you should probably try to do like keep it to neutrals neutrals nudes simple colors browns grays those kind of colors whites pinks baby pinks they are very good colors as opposed to when you're doing like blue tomorrow you are doing green um next tomorrow you are doing um yellow i don't know like it just doesn't go with the classy look that we're trying to do we're trying to achieve here okay you need to go for more minimal colors more neutral colors more earth tones i think that's what i'm trying to say more earth tones and also you don't always have to do your nails because i know doing nails sometimes can be expensive you don't have to get it done you can simply just paint your natural nails again keep it short paint your natural nails or you cannot paint it as well just leave it as they naturally are but always make sure that they are very short and very neat this brings me to my next point so yeah sunglasses are a must in my opinion they are a must you must have sunglasses obviously or maybe not obviously but i would advise you you always buy sunglasses that are timeless don't go for like all these weird designs that are out now these days don't try to look like this tomorrow today look like that tomorrow just go for like simple designs that fit your face and that you can wear all year round all season round you can always repeat that way you find you're not buying too much yeah put the sunglasses here put it here put it here put it here and you look good <laughs> if you watch them nollywood movies back in those days you know like sunglasses always elevated their looks like it just made them i don't know it just made them just look one kind one kind okay it just elevated their looks from basic to bad chic to <laughs> sunglasses are just a good way to elevate your look from basic to expensive like it happens like this just put on sunglasses right now like as i'm looking and you see the difference so sunglasses are a must for every woman yeah it just makes you look soft like you're living the soft life <laughs> it just makes you look expensive okay next i have for you is like um outfit okay so when you're picking out jeans or tops and things like that always think of can i wear this with another outfit can i wear this like if i'm wearing this to church can i still wear this like during the week can i still wear this to work always think of how you can get the most use out of the clothing items that you buy so don't buy clothes that you just wear once and then that's it no buy things that you can always repeat you can always mix and match with something else and it looks like a whole other outfit things like that is really really important so you find that you're not wasting money all the time and that way you also look expensive on the budget okay when you have on black white i think like they just look so good black and white they just look so good i love black outfits you guys and i think black is such a beautiful color because you can wear black so many times without people knowing that you're repeating clothes you can pair black with jeans you can pair black with like prints and stuff i don't know i just love black same thing goes for whites as well always look out for blacks whites when you're shopping yeah and basically just figure out what style you like so that when you're buying things you're buying things that are in the category of the style that you like don't just buy outfits because someone wore it. It may not look good on you. Ah, you guys, we're not going to talk about this without talking about smells, okay? Without talking about perfumes, your scents. You guys know in my previous video, I already spoke about anatomizer. In the video, um, like the feminine hygiene tips I filmed, I'm going to put that somewhere on the screen. I spoke about anatomizer. You guys, anatomizer is a must for every woman, okay? Anatomizer, I'm going to put that on the screen if you don't know what that is, but you need it on the go with you in your bag everywhere so that you know when you're 
scents or your perfumes are wearing off you can easily just reapply they're very small you can easily reapply wherever you are and you find that you smell good all day long with that also i know that perfumes are ridiculously expensive right now like they are so expensive i know especially because of the exchange rates and everything i know for perfumes always go for if you can't afford the expensive ones go for um, maybe dupes and you can go for perfume oils there are some that go for as cheap as one five literally one thousand five hundred like what's your excuse what is your excuse let me hear it what's your excuse you know a little dab here a little dab there a little dab everywhere and you're already smelling so good and perfume oils actually last as um, much longer than regular perfumes i find my perfume oils they all last much 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 longer than perfumes like clothes that i've worn i would wash it and the perfume is still there that's how strong my perfume oils are i know there are lots of vendors that sell perfume oils online in store just you know do your research and buy one please buy one and make sure that you're smelling good all the time okay so yeah you guys this brings me to the end of this video these are the points the tips and the pointers that i sort of have for you guys for when you want to look expensive on a budget you don't have to break the bank to look good you don't have to steal to look good you don't have to rob the bank to look good there are literally some people that have money like have so much money but they don't even look they don't even look expensive they don't look bougie they don't look good okay but you can do that on a budget if you buy things with sense if you <laughs> i'm just joking but if you obviously plan things ahead plan your outfits plan everything like you can look expensive on a budget incorporate the tips i've given you guys in this video and you're definitely on your way to looking expensive and classy on the budget okay if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a like share comment and subscribe also i'm going to put my instagram somewhere on the screen please follow and yeah if you have any more comments suggestions videos whatever Please leave it in the comment section and I'll see you lovelies in my next video. Bye guys!